Welcome back. You guys ready to learn some more about land? That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to learn a little bit more about what to look at when you're looking at land. We're going to talk about two different things, the online part and then the foot boots on the ground part uh, or shoes. But I recommend boots or galoshes even. I, I, I have galoshes in my car just for when I walk land because a couple times I've walked land in sandals, as you've seen on the channel, and it hurts every time, every time. So if that's what you're wanting to learn more about, today's video is all about Oklahoma land. So stick around and enjoy the video. All right, before we get started, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today's video. I'm so happy that you're here. This channel is all about moving to and living within the Oklahoma City metro area and all the towns and cities around the Oklahoma City metro area. If you want to learn more about that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date on all my newest videos. Don't forget to call text or email us the agents that i work with the exp realty and i are absolutely here to earn your real estate business when you're relocating to move it to and move within the state of oklahoma we help others weekly just like you and we want to help you too now let's get in today's video okay so we're going to be talking about uh land and everything about land and i've got a reference sheet if you guys want my reference sheet, just comment down below you want the reference sheet. I'll send over the uh, reference sheet to you and you'll be able to use this as a guide. Now, no warranties or guarantees and this sheet doesn't create a brokerage relationship. It, 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 just bear that in mind. Unless we're actually working together, this sheet is just for informational purposes only. Okay, let us uh, sw let me switch this over and we're going to use this piece of land right here as our um, example piece so this is five acres that's for sale in Hera, oklahoma it's raw land raw land so we're going to use this kind of as like our example piece and we're going to go through what to look at it online and then we'll also talk about what to look at with boots on the ground or galoshes on the ground um, galoshes are rubber boots it's another name rubber boots for galoshes and i that's just what i call them that's how it was brought up bringing them so here's five acres of raw land and the first thing that you want to do let me get this checked off over here the first thing that you want to do is you want to check out the well and septic info well and septic info and this is all stuff you could do online guys this is super simple so all you got to do pull up your email and then type in right here central records at deq.ok.gov central records at deq.ok.gov that's the email and like i said if you uh, want the info sheet on this just put it down in the comments below i'll send you over the info sheet so that you can use that in your land search too as an as a guide as a guide so and then here's how you make that email to central records real simple up in the subject put well and septic info request on the address of the property Okay, respectfully, your name. That's all you do. Then put good afternoon. That's in the subject line. Then go down to the email body and you write good afternoon, Central Records. May I have the well and then comma, enter, enter. May I have the well and septic info on, enter, hit the little number button right here where it makes the number sign and then put the physical address and then put AKA, put the legal address. Okay, where do you get the legal address? From county records you get the legal address from county records aka the county record assessor number put all three of those folks all three of those you want in this email body and then because the more information you give them they're going to run all these different searches over at deq central records so the more information you give them gives them more ways to run the search to get the information that you want then enter enter down and go to and then write chain of ownership past to present chain of ownership past to present so start with the oldest owner on county records that you see these are made up just so youtube knows these are made up names there's no personal information on this video uh youtube takes down my videos that actually have property owners but it's public information in oklahoma these are made up names youtube 
don't take this video down. This video is a giant asset for those researching land. So right here, chain of ownership, past to present, 1991, John Smith owed it, made up name, made up name. 1996, Jerry and Jane Doe, made up name, Jerry and Jane Doe, a made up name, owned it. And then in 2019, Dick Tracy bought it and owned it. Dick Tracy's a made up name, YouTube. It's a made up name. But if you put the legal, the physical address, and the assessor account number for that property when you're making this email to Central Records, and then you put the chain of ownership, because on the well and septic reports, one of the one of the blocks on that is the owner's name. So if you put the chain of owners on there too, the people at DEQ who are searching the records have more information to get you the information you're looking for. Does that make sense? Thumbs up. Thumbs up if that makes sense. Thumbs up if that's valuable. Thumbs up if you find value in that. That's why you got to call the agents that I work with, the EXP Realty and I, because of stuff like this. This is how we help our customers. This is how we'll help you. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Well and septic. Check. Comments. Put them down below. Now you want to check out the floodplain on properties too. I'm getting ready to blow your socks off. Oklahoma Water Resource Board. Oklahoma Water Resource Board. Google Oklahoma Water Resource Board flood maps. The, the link will pop up. Click on it and it's going to take you here. Okay, look at this. Is this not awesome? Now let's zoom in to this property that we're looking at. I want to go to uh, Oklahoma County. There's the town of Hera. Here's the town of McLeod. And then here is, whoa, here is where that property is located. Okay, right here, okay? So I know this because it's my listing. This is what I do for a living, this is how I do it. You'll, you might take a little bit longer to zoom in on it and then look up here too. If the property has a physical address, do you see this button right here? See that? You just type it in. Come on, how awesome is that? You literally just type it in and you it'll take you right to the property. This property doesn't have a physical address, so that's why I had to zoom to it on the map. And don't feel like just because I do things fast, that, that's because this is what I do every single day, folks, okay? You take your time. You hit pause. You rewind this video and and execute, okay? Don't, don't ever compare yourself to someone else. Your level and ability is based off of your past experiences. Everything is hard until it's easy, right? Okay, so... Now I've zoomed in on the property and then here's the property right here. Okay. There's no lines, but that's the property now, but Josh, it's not in a flood zone. Well, we got to tell the map to put the flood on it. So see how it says layers right here. We need to activate those layers. Okay. Maybe it's just because my internet is super slow. Okay. Perfect. There is the flood zones right there. Okay, I guess my internet is super slow, but there, right there, you see the flood zone on the property, okay? So that is what you want to look out for. And then go over here to the uh, legend. This is a legend for all of those geographers out there and, and cartographers. I think that's what it's called. 1% annual chance of flood right there, right where the creek is at, folks. Okay, right where the creek's at. So that's something you want to be aware of. Now, I've been told, I don't know this, verify this with the DEQ, to put anything on the other side of a flood zone, you have to have a real bridge built by an engineer. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know that, verify that with an engineer. This property still has a ton, a ton of flat ground. And I've done videos on this property. You can check that in the playlist ton a ton of flat ground up here because this is this is a lot of property see here's the fence line right here there's a ton of dry property up here that you could put the house on no problem right there so there it is now that's what you want to do you want to check your floodplains any questions on that put them down in the comments below if you found this helpful please give it a thumbs up let's go on to natural water features so to look for natural water features on the internet just use Google Maps or use if you're in if you're in the state of Oklahoma because this this works for land anywhere, but specifically the state of Oklahoma, it, you can you can 
look at Google Maps or this flood zone. So right here, you would think that there might be water. It's a seasonal creek. It's a dry creek, however, however you want to call it. But only when it rains does that creek have water in it. So keep that in mind too. And then when you're driving down this private road too, there's a couple areas where it looks like there's some natural springs just coming out of the rock, which is really cool. And then also you can use the Google Maps. This is Google Maps, guys, to look for water features. And as you can see, this guy right here appears to have a pond. You know, the best the best research you could do from the internet is what you could do from the internet. But as you can see right here, there's no ponds or anything on this property. So I hope you find that helpful using Google Maps and you click the layers and you switch it right here, the layer button right here. That's how you switch it from the map view to the satellite view. And then you can look for things like ponds. See this other property, not the property I'm talking about, this other property appears to have a pond right there. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up if you found that helpful. Let's go over to the next one. Access, when you're researching land, one of the things you wanna look for is access and drive times. So the cool thing about this property, and when I'm looking at it on Google Earth, you've really gotta zoom in to tell if it's a real road or not. So see how far I'm zoomed in? Like I'm zoomed in so far I can see all those hay bales. So when you zoom out, Google Maps puts this gray road over, over a road, okay? But that could be misleading when you're researching a property, because this is a rural dirt road. I know this because I'm very familiar with the property. So when you're researching land, zoom in, zoom in on that land. And another cool feature that Google Maps offers is this little dude right here. See that little guy? See him bouncing up as I put my cursor on it? No, you don't, because I'm in the way. I'm in the way. So in the bottom left of the Google Map, the bottom left of the Google map, right where I have my head on the map, I'm sorry about that, is a little orange man. And then you grab him and you bring him over and just drop him on the road. See how he's dangling there, how I'm holding him by one arm? Don't ever hold someone by one arm. That's scary. And then you just drop him. And you can literally see the road. See? See how I see the road now? Look at this. Look at that. See how amazing this is? Look at all this research you could do just online when you're researching properties. And look, it is a private road. It's not asphalt and it's not gravel. It's dirt, it's dirt and gravels, okay? But the cool thing about this, when you wanna get out of this, look at this. Right here, it's asphalt. This is 29th Street, it's old Highway 18, Highway 62. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a complete idiot because I don't know what highway it is. But when you're switching back, oh yeah, hit the X button right here to go back to the map view. Oh. Why did it take me to the middle of Hera? Okay, so uh, let me jump back over to the property. You want to look at property using Google Map and that little man feature, and you can easily look. Okay, so here's the property. I'm familiar with it. Okay, when you're looking at properties online, you'll be able to look at the property. So here we are looking at the property. Zoom out to see how close it is to things. So look at all this. There's shopping. There's a full-blown grocery store right here. You've got Brahms. You've got... Uh, uh, McDonald's, you've got Little Caesars. There's also a Domino's over here. I'm a big fan of Domino's. You've got a car wash when it's working, a Sonic right there. You've got TNT Sports where you could go hit baseballs and stuff. There's a ton of stuff that this property, this raw five acres down a private road is located from. And these are all things you can do online on the internet before you even have to drive an hour or two hours to go find the perfect piece of property. You could do a ton of research just using Google right here. So when you're checking the road, when you're checking access to the property, use Google Maps to do that. Okay, big thumbs up. Big thumbs up if that was helpful, if you found that helpful, if you learned something new. Debris. When you're looking at raw properties in Oklahoma, you absolutely want to look for brush piles slash trash piles. Okay, we get tornadoes, guys. We get tornadoes. You could find a whole house that's been bulldozed over and pushed to the side on a property in Oklahoma. It is crazy. So when you zoom in on a property, this is all using Google Maps. This is something that you can do in the public sector. And look, I don't see any de de pre debris piles on this property. I don't because here's the fence line right here. You can kind of see the pronounced fence line right there. And then the fence line over here 
is a little bit more difficult to see, but it is there right there. Okay. As you start looking at more and more properties, your eyes will become better and better trained to see fence lines like that. Okay. And as I can see, I'm not seeing any debris piles and I've walked the perimeter of this property. I put boots on ground on this property because it's my listing. I have it for sale currently at the time of this video. If you're looking for five raw acres in Oklahoma County, you absolutely got to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. The group of agents that I work with, XP Realty and I, we're absolutely here to earn your business. We'd love to show you this five acres. So I don't see any debris piles. There's some weird green foliage right here, but it looks like it's just a ginormous pine tree. Wow. That's a big pine tree. That is huge right in the middle. Oh, look, there's another. I wonder, I wonder how they got planted there. Probably birds pooping. That's how pine trees get planted. Birds poop. <laughs> Weird fact. Google it. Make sure it's right. Um, but yeah. And so look at, and, and I'm telling you, look at this. You could tell that that's hay bales. You could tell that's hay bales right there. And then look, here's a property with debris on it. You can see the debris. It is so amazing all the research you can do on a property on the internet before you even step foot on it. That is amazing. And you can take screenshots and print this out and take it with you to verify things while you're out there walking on the property. Okay, that's how you look for debris. Thumbs up if that was helpful. Put comments below if you've got other ways to look for debris. And then the next section I want to talk to you guys about is called easements. Easements. And I'm talking like uh, transformer, uh, not transformer. I'm talking about power line easements. I'm talking about uh, natural gas pipe easements, things like that. See right here. Look at this. Look at this. See that right there. When trees are cut that perfect. Look at that. That is huge. This is from the air. This is from a supposed satellite, <laughs> not an airplane, but that is an easement. Look at that, folks. That is huge. That is an easement. Actually, I think that's a power line easement. So let's let's. So looking at the property, here's the property right here. I'm not seeing a big easement on that property. And this, the way the, the trees are growing right here is because that's where the uh, seasonal creek is, the dry creek is at. So that is why that's growing right there. But this, this is an easement, folks. It's either an old railway, it's a power line, or it's a natural gas pipeline. So let's, let's zoom in. Okay, look at that. See that giant pole right there? That is a power pole. So this is one of those giant... Uh, power lines that take power probably from the og &E plant that's inside Hera, oklahoma and then distribute it out to the grid so that is a giant power line easement so that is something to make note of and see how easy you can see that on your own on google maps you look you're doing so much research online now folks before you even hit the property boots on the ground and then over here you could tell there's another well-defined easement of some sort right here Let's zoom in and see if this looks like a power line easement. No, this looks like a natural gas line easement. Yeah, see that? That right there might actually be a wellhead or where they checked the gas pipe at. And then, and then see, yep, there's, there's definitely where they checked the gas pipe at. So that's a pipeline. In Oklahoma, we got pipelines, okay, oil state, oil state. You know, that's why they stole more land from the Indians so they could get the oil out of the ground. I'm not a uh, not a historian, so double check that on your own, and then that's probably more not talked about history that uh, America is full of. But hey, this is America. We love America. Don't get me wrong. I'm a I'm a Native American Indian, uh, card carrying uh, member of the Native Americans, and yes, I do believe that the land run was created just to steal more land from the Indians. So that 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 is how I believe. So check off easements. Now you know how to look up easements. Looking at neighbors. Okay, when you're buying raw land out in, in the country, okay, you, uh, you'll have neighbors. No matter how big a piece you get, even if you get 160 acres, you're still going to have neighbors around that 160 acres, okay? So you can get a good idea on who your neighbors are just using good old Google Earth. We're still using the same tool that we've been talking about on the last three points. This is Google Earth. So let's, uh, let's look at the neighbors. So this neighbor... Right here, this is actually a gentleman that sells things right here at the 29th and the Wingo Road. He sells things. He's got a business. These are all things to sell. They're debris piles slash things for sell. And then it looks like this neighbor has some stuff up front, but then a giant open field. Okay. And then this neighbor over here has a house and a shop and a, sh and a barn and 
This neighbor has a house and some cars and things like that. So this is all public info straight from Google. Uh, I, I want to make sure that YouTube knows that when we're, when we're looking at land, you want to look at your neighbors. You want to see as best you can without driving an hour, an hour and a half, two hours to look at land, who your neighbors are. So a great, great tool to use is Google Earth. Okay, Google Maps. So we'll check that one off. Thumbs up if that was good. Thumbs up if you enjoyed that one. And then also when you're looking at land and especially if you're going to have some cattle of your own or some livestock of your own, you want a good wooded slash pasture ratio. I, I believe I, I check with the ag people to double check, but I believe you want at least 30% wooded so that the property has somewhere for the livestock to go in our super hot weather in Oklahoma. We get super hot weather in Oklahoma, folks. And if you don't have natural shade, you've got to bring in some sort of shade. And I believe they're called loafing sheds. You can get loafing sheds uh, brought in and placed on the property, throughout the property. I believe you're supposed to point the main one north. So in the wintertime, they're blocked from the wind, from the north wind. But uh, yeah, if you don't have a good wooded to pasture ratio, if you have no trees on the property whatsoever, you have to bring in artificial shade, artificial uh, protection for your livestock. So you always want to check out the wooded to pasture feature, and you can do that online. And then also when you're looking at land, and this is more in the uh, larger rural areas and the larger pieces of land, you want to look out to see if there's any that you can tell by looking online to the best of your ability if there's any commercial livestock farms or commercial farms because of the fertilizers and because of the um uh what are they called fertilizers and uh the uh, the things that keep animals alive um antibiotics and antibiotics and stuff like that you want to really pay attention to that health wise that if you're buying a piece of land that those things uh, and the distance from those things is a, is within a safe area Okay, you, you don't want to, me personally, I wouldn't want to live right next to something like that because of the, the, the smell and because of the drugs that they use to keep the animals alive. And you could do your own research on that too. Um, come up with your own conclusions on that. I buy food at the grocery store. Don't get me wrong. I do buy food at the grocery store, but a lot of the food that I buy is actually at local farmers who are doing organic grass fed type uh, farms. So um, double check what is around you, your neighbors, and if there's big commercial farms around you, you know, you, you want to make sure that where you're buying land is going to be uh, acceptable for your family and you. Okay, so there, I'm going to check off looking for commercial uh, farms, and the next one is fences and gates and property lines. Fences and gates and property lines. So still using Google Maps, folks. It's a huge, amazing tool for you to use. So this property, you could tell from Google Maps that at the time of this photo, there was some sort of fence here. See that straight line right there that you can barely see that shadow? That is a fence. And I know this also because I've walked the land. I'm familiar with this property. And then right here is another fence. See that straight line? It's a little bit more difficult to see on this end because of the uh, foliage, because of the trees and stuff. But there is a straight line right here. And I definitely know it because, like I said, I've walked the property. And then going on back, where is there? Okay, so going on back, there's that straight line continued. There's that straight line continued. See that? That right there is not a weird mess up in the photo. That's a fence line. And then right about, where is it? Okay, right there. See? Right there. Let me zoom out a little more. Right here is the back fence. Is that right? Hold on a second. No, right here. Okay, so you could tell looking at the neighbor's properties, and then also I've been at the property, looking at the neighbor's properties, there is a fence line right here. See that? See how you could tell how everybody's yards are all straight or uh, fields, <laughs> not yards, fields are all straight right there? There's a fence line right there. So let's zoom in. And see if we can see it. There's a lot of tree growth, but you can see it right there. Right there is a fence line. So that's good. That's good. And this is all doing research on your own. Also, read the MLS write-up. It will tell you if a property is fenced and gated. Also do that. That's a lot simpler than trying to guess it on Google Earth. 
Okay, so there's fence lines. We're going to check that off to no property lines, to know specifically where those corners are on a property. The only way to do that is to get a survey. Now, the last uh, surveyors that I've spoke to over the last couple months, sometimes they're four to eight weeks out. Four to eight weeks out, folks. So plan when you're writing that purchase contract for your inspection period to include the survey to include the survey and be adjusted to the surveyor's schedule. Because if you buy a property and you only get four acres instead of five acres, that's a fifth, that's 20% less acreage, 20% less acreage. So you wanna verify the acreage with a survey. That's the only way to verify it in Oklahoma. So checking that off, zoning and city count, city and county zoning, huge. Huge when it comes to land use rights, because no, you don't own the land all the way. You never do. The, the The government doesn't give you all the rights to the land. They keep zoning, police powers, and taxation on it. You don't own the whole land. They keep it. They keep those three things. So zoning is very important. So easiest way to check at first on the internet is using Google Maps. Let me show you. So here is that property right here is that property and then look at this google and you got to call the city and verify the address specifically with that city but google maps out the city boundaries see how that's mapped out right there all along uh Hera road and all of this is harris city limits so this right here is not inside the city limits as of the day of this map as of the day of this map so you've got to call and verify that it's not in the city limits but it is located in Oklahoma County limits, Oklahoma County limits. So how do you check if a county has zoning? Because some counties in Oklahoma have zoning. Some counties in Oklahoma don't have zoning. You've got to call that county specifically. Start with the county clerk and the county assessor. Start with the county clerk and the county assessor. I know in Oklahoma County, they have a planning department and they have zoning. They absolutely have zoning. So all I did was Google Oklahoma County Planning Department. All I did was Google Oklahoma County Planning Department, clicked on it, and it gave me all these links. And look at right here, over here on this right bar, right here, it says Oklahoma County Map and Zoning, and Zoning. You've got to click on that and see, see what the zoning regulations are on the property you're interested in in the county that you're looking okay this is just oklahoma county there's 77 different counties in oklahoma some have zoning some don't some have zoning maps some don't call the county clerk and the county assessor to find out if your county that you're interested in has a planning department okay don't forget comment down below if you want a link to my reference sheet for all this information it's for you to use Okay, completely use at your own option. Okay, now the next thing is uh, one of the cool things in Oklahoma that the Oklahoma Water Resource Board does also. I just I just Googled Oklahoma Water Resource Board and I went to their maps. This is the map page on the Oklahoma Water Resource Board. It has all of the ground wells that are registered correctly, all the ground wells that are registered correctly in the state. Check this out. Boom. So you can go look at all the water wells in the state. There should be a bunch of green dots popping up. Okay, there you go. You can go look at all the results of the documented and registered water wells in the whole state of Oklahoma. Like, it's, it's amazing how much information is free to the public in the state of Oklahoma. So using the same property that we've been talking about, we can go road, era... Oklahoma. We're just going to type in that road. It's going to take you to Wingo Road and then it's going to show us all the wells. This is public information, YouTube. This is public information through the state of Oklahoma. Please do not take this video down. It is all public information. We're not discussing anything private on this video. This is all public information. Look, it shows you every single water well in that area and it will give you a complete write-up on every single water well in that area too. Like if we wanted to learn more about this water well, you just click on it, scroll down to the more info and click on more info. That's it. The reason I did that quick is I don't want Google 
to think or YouTube to think that I'm giving out people's personal information. This is all public information available to the public. So that's how you check out water wells in the state of Oklahoma. I Googled Oklahoma water well maps, Oklahoma water resource board pulled up. I clicked that link. I went to the well maps, the water well maps. You saw that. And then I went and clicked and then I typed in the road that I was interested in learning more about. And I've got all this information right here about the water wells around this property. That's awesome. That's awesome information. Thumbs up if that's helpful. Thumbs up if you find that helpful. And then, of course, guys, last thing I'm going to talk about online research. Last thing I'm going to talk about is tornadoes and earthquake activity. Okay. Um, we don't have as many earthquakes as we did back with our last governor. Um, the, uh, the lady, Aaron Brottenstein, Aaron, Aaron, uh, the lady who sued the, uh, PG and E, the, um, the big utility provider in California, uh, Aaron, whatever, they made a movie about it. Uh, she came to the state and she said she was going to start helping everybody sue, uh, the people responsible for it, and all of a sudden the well, the earthquake stopped. Really weird, right? Really weird, right? Well, um, to keep an eye on tornadoes and earthquakes, look at this right here. Weather.gov backslash O-U-N backslash tornado data dash county dash okay. Okay, right there. And like I said, comment down below if you want my resource guide to all this information it's got these links on it easy at your disposal but it takes you to this page right here okay and then let's go over to central oklahoma so i'm just going to click on this map and this shows you tornado pass i believe it says from 1875 to present 1875 to present it shows you all the tornado pass in oklahoma county how cool is that so if you want to know if the what the chances are of the area you're interested in uh, being um, uh, having the unfortunate run in with the tornado, these maps are available at your disposal. This is all public information too. So the next thing and the last thing for doing work online when you're researching a property is the earthquake maps and just go to earthquakes.usgs.gov earthquakes.usgs.gov and it'll actually blow you away on how often earthquakes happen throughout the whole United States. This is uh, earthquakes within the past day. There's been 43 of them within the past day of just inside the United States. So that is pretty crazy. And until you start researching this stuff, you'll be like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. But it's actually normal. It's actually normal. Okay. So, so that's, it's, it's actually normal. So don't be freaked out when you're like 43 earthquakes in the last day. Well, go look at the history of earthquakes. It, it actually happens a lot. Okay. All right. So that's everything you can do while researching a property online. That's before you even put boots on the ground. Now let's switch gears and let's talk about what you do when you get there. Okay. Every single thing we talked about, you verify with your eyes or your inspectors. If you're not a state buyer, verify with your eyes or your inspectors if you're not a state buyer. And then um, every single thing from the smell to the noise of a property, you want to listen and you want to smell everything about a property because that's going to be big. Okay. And then when you get there, you want to verify the fencing, verify the road, verify everything. The only other thing that you can get an advantage on when at the property is documenting what work might be needed. Like if you need to hire a company to come in and brush hog the field, or if you need to hire a company to come in and mulch down all the trees smaller than four inches, if there's a lot of overgrowth, or if you need a company to come in and repair all of your fencing, or if you need a company to come in and put in a gate, gates are amazing. You can use a gate. Look at this. When you live out in the country, a gate is just like a garage door. You're, if you have an automatic gate, it is just like a garage door. It is so nice to get an automatic gate when you're moving to the country. As always, we know tons of great contractors. If you'd like an automatic gate be installed on your property, you've got to call us, text us, or email us so that we can get you in contact with those great contractors that we know. And we don't take any uh, 
referral fees or anything like that. These are just people that other people have been happy with and we'd be happy to pass their name along to help their business out. So just verify, smell, and and uh, and hear, you know, listen. This is Oklahoma City, folks, so we do have Tinker Air Force Base, like one of the largest Air Force bases in the whole nation. So you are going to have planes flying around. So just a side note, you are going to have planes flying around. And if you want to see something really crazy, uh, Google sonic boom testing in oklahoma city okay oklahoma city's had some weird stuff happen to it google sonic boom testing in oklahoma city thumbs up if you find that super super weird uh and what happened with the sonic boom test back when they were trying to fly those uh those planes that go so fast uh i can't think of the names right now but there's been some crazy stuff going on in oklahoma city with sonic booms and stuff like that. But that was back in the 70s. Hopefully it won't happen again. But anyways, so guys, that's some that's some guidance. That's some direction on what to look for and all the research that you can do online on a property. Just, uh, just being on the property. You, another thing you'll want to do when you're at the property is get a water test and then take some soil tests too. Take them both to DEQ and get them tested if you want. Especially if you're going to be raising uh, plants and stuff like that. And the water test, definitely always get the water test. If there is a well there already, get that water test done to check to see if the well needs cleaned out or not. So guys, I hope, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really do. My name is, uh, is Josh Barnett and the agents that I work with at EXP Realty and I, we are absolutely here to earn your business. Do not forget to give us a call. Shoot us text, send us an email so the agents that I work with, EXP Realty and I, can help you with your real estate needs when you're relocating to, moving to, and moving within the Oklahoma City and the Oklahoma City metro area. That's what we do. We're getting the uh, awesome blessings of helping customers just like you weekly with their relocation, and we'd love to help you too. So give us a call, shoot us text, send us an email. And also, don't forget to subscribe to, subscribe to the channel if you found this interesting. You love things, love learning about Oklahoma City and the Oklahoma City metro area. That's what the channel's all about. We'll see you guys on the next video.